Welcome everyone to the finale of The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword at long last. In the semi-final episode, Girahim succeeded in his plan to revive the Demon King Demise. And now that Demise is back, he's challenged us to a final battle in his own personal battlefield. In this episode, let's meet that challenge. And I'm finally glad to be able to do this because it has been a long time since I started this Let's Play. Yeah, I'm finally glad to be able to finish this and be able to move on because, uh, yeah, this did take a while with a lot of what I've done. Yeah, once you go through that portal, unless you defeat Demise, you will not come back. I'm ready, Fi. Let's go. Know that even in a place that lies beyond this portal, I will be with you, and Master. Good luck. Bring it on, Demise! We're bringing Zelda back! Now, if you follow, if you use your sword, he will follow yours. So it will be hard. It will be hard to attack normally. Here, shield bashing is your best friend. Also, your Skyward Strike is no longer available, being in Demise's personal battlefield. Ugh. But yeah, once once we've passed this phase, I'm gonna be quiet to let you guys enjoy the epic music to come. <sighs> oh yeah, and also, uh, Bugnet. He will sort of follow it around. Oh, I don't know. It's just something I read up that he does he does follow your Bugnet. But I think there's one more use for that in this. Alright, just trying to focus, because, you know, important battle and all. Oh yeah, and also after he defends, you can actually uh, break, slip through his defense and deliver an attack. Okay, come on. Oh, my legs are shaking. <laughs> I'm actually standing up so I can actually play better. 
There we go! I think if you hit him when he's down like that, he'll move on to the next phase, but I'm not sure. It's been a while since I played this. But luckily, I know what to do. Whoa! Alright. Gotta remember his patterns better. Come on. Yeah, I pulled out the bug net because of that whole theory that you can actually uh, distract him with the bug net like in other battles. Like with Gander from Twilight Princess with the fishing rod. Uh, oh, right, and I also forgot he also, I almost forgot he also punches, too. Okay. Right. Oh, I gotta strike him. Okay. Whoa! Well, luckily, I've got health potions, just in case. There we go! Ugh, right. That punch is so fast, it's hard to shield bash. Anyway, I'm also gonna target lock him during the second phase, because of an important little tip that you might want to know about. Oh, there we go! And here we go. I'm gonna be quiet now. So here comes the epic part. damage and that's dangerous Ugh. and yeah of course like he said Ugh. wait I'm trying to get anyway you know if you do pull this out and he fires his own skyward strike I haven't tested this out yet oh darn it oh, I might actually be struggling here Whoa! Ah! I'm real- 
Drink that. It's my last one, so it's all up. It's all up to see if I can actually do this. Man, I'm rusty. Ah! Ah, a little late there. There! Now, you could try, but Demise is very quick. If you knock him down the third time, then the battle does end. There! right there. Ah. Woo, that was good reflex. I'm waiting for him to do a scour sec to see if the but that is true. Yeah, so if it's taking long, I'm sorry. Oh! Although I probably shouldn't try. Oh! Of course, when he does that. Oh! I love how this turns out. Ah! Oh! Right. Can't stay too close when he charges his sword. There we go! Oh yeah! Second time! Done! Honestly, I find that to be the most epic finisher of the Zelda games yet. Seriously, I do. It's done, Demise. You're finished. Extraordinary. You stand as a paragon of your kind, human. You fight like no man or demon I've ever known. Though this is not the end. My hate never perishes. It is born in you in a cycle with no end. I will rise again. Those like you, those who share the blood of the curse and the spirit of the human. They are eternally bound to this curse. An incarnation of my hatred shall ever follow your time. Dooming them to wander a blood soaked sea of darkness for all time! With his last words, Demise has promised us a curse without end. Which also sets into motion the theories of how Ganondorf appears. And as we raise our sword skyward to pull in the remaining darkness of Demise. If I can burn it now, Demise is gone for good. Sealed away in the Master Sword. Ah. Well. That was... That was a pretty fine battle right there. I hope I made it look good for you guys. And now that it's all over, Zelda should be back. You have done well, Link. Uh, normally, I uh, like voice over the characters, not really, just speak their dialogue, but since this is the end now, there's some stuff I want to bring up. Like, first off, some theories about Demise. If you remember, the Triforce on his sword is inverted to the one on the Master Sword, which does kind of, it does kind of actually hint. It, sorry. <laughs> What he just said, the Legend of Goose. <laughs> but yeah, Demise's sword actually does hint the Legend of Zelda, a link between worlds that came out in 2013. 
Very good game, by the way. Really, you should pick it up. Right. So, yeah, that done, yeah. Okay. Uh, just trying to word this out right. So, yeah, another theory about Demise, of course, <laughs> his connection to Ganondorf is mainly due to his uh, flaming red hair. Seeing how Ganondorf also has red hair in his incarnations. And more theory suggests more hinting of a link between worlds. Because as when in the beginning of the game it mentions that the demons came out of a fissure in the earth. And that's kind of what happens in the in the link between worlds because fissures appear all over Hyrule that connect to low rules so it kind of does mean that the demons and of course uh, demise may have come from low rule. This is just fan theory though so I'm not sure but it does fit quite well. Um, I guess that's all I have to say on that, really. I'm just... I'm just really glad to finally been able to complete this game for you guys. To anyone who's really watched this, because I know I don't really get that many views. But yeah, I'm really glad to have finally finished this game after so long. Honestly, I wish I didn't have to do it so long, but yeah, of course. Complications in life... And... Such... And of course, I took a break from this to do new Super Luigi U as well, so... Yeah. I was gonna do a new Super Luigi U along with Skyward Sword, but... I just got so caught up in it, I just didn't feel like doing... Just didn't feel like doing Skyward Sword for a while either, because... I don't... I, I don't really know. But I'm just glad to have finally gotten those done. Yeah, I don't know, this does kind of feel like a bit of a sad scene, because, you know, Link and Fi are departing. And Fi is no longer going to exist with the other incarnations of Link. Fi was only for this mission. But, you know, as you've gone along, you could say they've developed a bit of a relation you could you could say similar to Link and Navi in Ocarina of Time because you know you know uh, Navi grew closer to Link as they spent time together so it looked like they you know uh, I'm saying you know a lot <laughs> uh, yeah they they grew close not that kind of close that you might be thinking of, I don't know. But, it's just... Uh, it, it's hard to... Hard to explain. But it does feel like that, sort of, you know, and then at the end, when the Master Sword is put to sleep, then, yeah, their partner leaves and that's basically it. Oh yeah, other the I guess you could say other th theories. These are probably my own, or maybe not. But yeah, Five may have a connection to the uh, Great Fairy and Wind Waker, considering uh, the Great Fairy looks like a uh, younger version of Five, to be honest. And, you know, with Navi, Navi could also be like an incarnation to Five in a way, because of how informative Navi is supposed to be. That's just... I don't know. I'm just trying to share thoughts and stuff while this scene goes on, because I don't want to be just quiet like I was through the second half of the Demise battle. I just want to be able to talk and share my final thoughts and such with this game. And then after, the, once the credits start rolling, I'll discuss stuff of what's going to come. And, uh... Well... Ugh, can't think about it. Hard to think, I'm just watching this, and... This can't, this is pretty, uh... 
It's a little bit of a sad scene, I guess. And, well, even though Impa did say de Demise is decaying in the nat in the Master Sword, <laughs> she also mentions she's a member of the Shiika, which is, of course, mentioned in Ocarina of Time, so, yeah. More connections that were pretty much confirmed through the Hyrule Historia. So... Ugh. Darn, I can't talk. I'm just so glad to finally get this game done. And then I can move on to another game, which I'm actually going to be taking a break from Let's Playing for a while. So I'm thinking maybe mid-March is when I'm going to start my next one. This is such a touching scene. And I also, I also love this little part right here. Zelda gives up one of her uh, bracelets and gives it to Impa. Uh, I've pretty much said all I can really say it right now, haven't I? Uh, yeah, this is such a touching scene. Saying their farewells and all that. It's also kind of sad that I'm going to be retiring my Golden Wii or Golden Nunchuck. Unless I decide to let's play another Zelda game. And if I do, it's probably going to be either the new Zelda U that comes out. Not Hyrule Warriors one, actually. I kind of do want to LP that one, but I don't know because of the gamepad. Again, I don't know about that, but... Yeah, if I do a let's play another Zelda game, it's either going to be the other Zelda game for the Wii U that might be coming out probably 2015, maybe. I don't know. And as you can see, the Master Sword's right back there. <laughs> and you see there that Impa was actually the old lady in the sealed temple, so you can s <laughs> So you can... Uh, hard to... <laughs> again, again, this, this actually shocked me. As it probably did with anyone. Really shocked you to know that Impa lived for so long. It is amazing how Impa of the Sheikah could live for so long, at least for this incarnation. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I lost my train of thought there. Oh, right, I remember now. If I do that, let's play another game. It's probably gonna be. Uh, if I do, let's play another Legend of Zelda game, it'll probably be Twilight Princess, because other than Skyward Sword, Twilight Princess was, uh, Twilight Princess was very well done, despite being a GameCube game ported to the Wii. But yeah, Twilight Princess really does complement the Wii's controls, and it's pretty good for, uh, an early Wii game. I don't necessarily remember if, like, if it was like a launch title, but uh, I didn't really get it at launch. I kind of rented it back then when video games were still rented. I normally, I normally don't say video games really, but oh well, just slipped. So what? But yeah, that's basically it. Skyward Sword's now done. And I'm so glad to have let's played this game. Because I love... You know, while the credits roll, I'm going to bring up some final thoughts. And uh, reasons why I love this game the most out of all the other Legend of Zelda games, really. I guess that's it. The credits start rolling now. Sorry, I'm just there. But yeah, game's finally done. Credits are rolling. So, uh, as the credits roll, I'm just gonna mention a few things. I guess. Actually, one thing I do want to bring up, though, is uh, if it hurries up here. There we go. Just want to hurry up that logo. 
there, because, uh, as the credits start rolling, give it a little time there. Yeah, if you notice, this will actually show scenes on Zelda's perspective of how she went through the surface. So yeah, as you can see there, she appeared at the sealed temple and met with uh, the older Impa. And in the next coming scene, it'll show Zelda wearing the wearing the dress she was wearing, the white goddess dress. See right there, she's holding onto it, and her harp as she travels through the area, through the uh, areas in order to purify herself and complete her part of the mission. And she basically got through the uh, Skyview Temple all by herself, which is very impressive. And another reason why I like this incarnation of Zelda the most, because of, uh, of cause, because of what she did, what she was able to really do alone. She traversed the surface, going through a thick forest, up a volcano. And even though she got captured by vocal blends here, she did this all on her own. That is very impressive. And then, of course, you've got Impa here using her light powers. Oh, I I'm getting off talk. So anyway, yeah. Reasons why I love the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword the most out of every other Legend of Zelda game is basically how it starts the series. It may have been like the in 2011, it may have been like the last game so they made so far, but how it ties up in the Hyrule story and how it starts the story, that's one reason why I love it the most. Sure, it, ha it does lack in some things like Friday- Sayaka? Oh, man. No, no, not thinking about that. I am not thinking about that anime. No, thank you. Yeah, back to- back to- my thoughts on Skyward Sword, sorry. <laughs> I just noticed that. There. Uh, I won't think about it again. Yeah, love how this started the whole series, even though the Hyrule story uh, takes it further back and shows you what the goddess Halia looks like, which is very similar to Zelda in this game. Very similar, but... I could almost say Zelda looks like a younger Hylia, in a way. But yeah, enough of that. Yeah, some things that lack in Skyward Sword, for one, is that... Well, in a way, there's not that many areas, because you're basically focused on a forest, fiery volcano, and a very vast desert. It's not like other areas of Hyrule that have many, uh... That have many... Other areas, sorry about my mic there. Yeah, not many other areas. Like, like for one thing, one thing I loved about Twilight Princess, though, is its variety of areas, because along with that, you also had the lake. You may have the lake here, but it was mostly because of the forest. Yeah, you have, like, the lake, the entire area, like Zora's Domain, and you even had, like, you even had, like, a, a mountainous area. That... That was so impressive. Anti Porn's Hyrule Symphony Orchestra. This is this is the first game they I've heard that actually has the whole game orchestrated. Sure, it may seem like some parts of Twilight Princess were orchestrated, but this one has more of it, you could say. Um So uh yeah, other than that. Uh, Sure, the motion controls are a little, uh, hard to do because of the Wii Motion Plus and the fact that you have to calibrate it every time you start up the game. But yeah, I love- I did love how the motion controls make you have to pick your- pick how you battle and figure out how to defeat some opponents like, uh, like Stalfos and the Beemos and a lot of other enemies. And of course, bosses like uh, Gear Gearham, and of course, Demise. As you saw, with how he's struggling to try and slip through his defenses to land a hit. Yeah, it's pretty hard. Anyway, enough of that. 
now that Skyward Sword is done, what you unlock is the second quest, Hero Mode. I wanted to hold off on that because I didn't want to spoil anything, but yeah. Hero Mode. Take double damage, your air meter drops faster, you unlock all bosses in Skyward Sword for the lightning round, including Demise. And, well... Any, uh, item treasures you've collected... Yeah, any treasures you collected, bugs and treasures. You keep those for the second part of the game so you can get all your items back quickly. Anyway, yeah. I just wanted to bring that up. But yeah, Hero Mode was... Hero Mode is actually the second playthrough I kept hinting at. And I just wanted to bring it up now because it'll mention it later. Instructor Horwell mentions some stuff about it too, but not everything about it. When you play Hero Mode, but yeah, I just wanted to go through that before the game ended. But yeah, Nintendo, you guys did a good job starting the Legend of Zelda story with this game. Not like I don't mean like 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 with the first ever Zelda game on the NES, but you know, in terms of the Hyrule story, of course. Yeah, you know, this is also the first time Loft Wings ever really descend to the surface now because now that Demise is gone, there's no need for the cloud barrier and the Loft Wings to keep everyone above the sky. Oh, and there's Goose's Loft Wing with its Pumpador. <laughs> Pumpador. I'm gonna miss saying that. And of course, in a non vocal version of the Ballad of the Goddess plays. Yeah, I'm so glad this game's finally over with. And not in that kind of way. Yeah, now that that's done, uh, I'm gonna be taking a couple weeks off so I can do some uh, other stuff. And then I'm gonna probably start Super Mario 3D World. I'm also gonna, during my break, get Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze. And I'm gonna try and go through that game. And if I can uh, go through that game pretty good, then I might just let's play along with that one. If so, if I'm gonna be let's playing both of those, I'm gonna do one episode of each a week. But if not, then I'm gonna try and, uh... Gonna try and do Super Mario 3D World at least one episode every two days, not counting weekends, so like every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I wanna tr At least I'm, that's what I'm gonna try, and if, uh, any complications arise, I'll bring them up. But yeah, in the, in the break, I'm not sure. I might hold on to my... My current recording software, Pinnacle Studio 14. I might hold on to it for a little while longer, because I kind of want to wait for 17 to be released in North America, because I don't think it's really released in stores yet. Which is kind of stupid, because I'd love to get my hands on it right now. Anyway, the end. So, yeah, there you go. Game's done. I'm glad to have finally played this game. I'm going to upload the uh, episode with the secrets in it for a while uh, during my break because I'm, I'm going to post-commentate that too and uh, just, well, I wanted to show a little easter egg with Demise in this but I didn't really get to. Anyway, you can play again in hero mode using the save data. Do you want to continue? I would. But I don't really need to, so I'm just going to end it right here. So, this has been The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. I'm Matt the Speedstar, signing off for this Let's Play. And I'll see you guys in probably a few weeks for Super Mario 3D World.